Yeah, this this fits right into what we just said about tread lightly with the chaos and the COVID, COVID news and the opt outs. This is the definition of that Gator Bowl. Wake oh. Forest, not against Texas A&M. They're getting Rutgers, believe it or not. This was yeah. one that came down last week. A&M out. Rutgers gets in because it's the best five and seven team in terms of APR, the academic ratings that uh, the NCAA puts out. Rutgers is in, and this was really fascinating, Dave. From a, I'm glad they're playing the game. Listen, I'm glad they're playing the game. I've been to the Gator Bowl many times as a member of the WV Athletic Department. Awesome bowl, awesome area. They do a great job. I'm glad to see the game being played. But, man, is this ever a mismatch? And I know the line reflects it. Wake yeah. Forest favored by 14 and a half. They've had a great year. I'm happy for those guys that they get to finish their year with a with a really good bowl. They deserve that. Sam Hartman at quarterback's fantastic. He's right up against 4,000 yards passing. He's run for another 500. He's got 47 touchdowns total. The Wake offense is what you want to watch in this one. They're going against a Rutgers team that Dave just isn't good. That's why they weren't in a bowl. They have only won two games since September 18th. Two and seven mm-hmm. since September 18th. You're a Big Ten guy. Their wins are Illinois and Indiana. So I, I know that's a big number. I don't know how you do anything but Wake Forest or pass on this. As Rutgers, keep in mind this. Rutgers wasn't even together. They they were working to get their team back together. As they're accepting a bid to the Gator Bowl, they don't even have their group together. They disbanded and gone the to their different spots. They, for the holidays. They, nobody was Yeah, together. so they hadn't been practicing. They're going to come in on short notice. So happy for them. This is a great bowl game for them. Best in, in Rutgers history, believe it or not, at five and seven. This, to me, is, is wake in a showcase game. Man, oh, man. So – this line, they were playing Texas A&M, like you said, and the line was around Texas A&M minus six and a half, six, seven, bounce around. And now it goes to Wake Forest being a huge favorite. I mean, everything that they were prepping for was as an underdog role against Texas A&M and SEC school, and now they're playing Rutgers. It's almost like a fight, right, where you know, you've been training and training and training, and then the guy gets hurt three days before the fight and they bring in some guy and say, okay, you're fighting this guy now. And it's supposed to be a tomato can where you're supposed to go in and beat him up. And what could happen? You might get hit in the face. You might, I mean, people aren't betting this like Rutgers has any chance. It's gone from 14 opening. I saw 13 quick. Um, It's disappeared. It's 15, the total 62. Um, which was close to the original total, 59, when they were playing um, Texas A&M. I agree with you. I don't think I don't think it should be anything be anything but Wake Forest. But Wake Forest. But it's a pass for me. I, I mean, it's an 8 a.m. start on Friday morning here out west. Like this is one of those ones. Like last week, Newby said he's got to set his alarm for some of these games. I'd am gonna have to set my alarm for this game uh, because I don't think. Again, you'll be watching it. I'll catch the second half. Let's put it that way. Here's the other one. Let's just start off because we're going to say it a bunch. This is also one where you could get me on in-game, absolutely. If Rutgers comes out fired up, gets a couple stops or a turnover, a short field, and they score, and I can get that line under 14 and a half and get a better number, I wouldn't be opposed to that with Wake either. Would you be ever at that point looking to take Rutgers? Like if they get no. down, like like that's one where no. you know you go, oh, it's twenty one. Maybe I should grab it now. No, I'm good. Like Wake could run this thing up. Like Wake team total might be the play here. If you could get a number, it's probably what twenty eight or no, it's probably thirty. Well, it might be thirty five. Without looking, I'm guessing it's it's probably in the, in the low thirties. So I don't know that. that that might be a a better way to attack it where you could go just on the team to keep scoring. I don't think there's going to be any taking a foot off the gas pedal, right? This is going to be one. I'm looking, I'm on, I'm on DraftKings where I am, which by the way, shout out to your hat. There looks beautiful. DraftKings sportsbook, 38 and a half team total for wake. Oh, 38 and a half, Brian. So to answer your question, no, but now you could sell me on wake forest, Drop their drop their intensity just a little bit when they saw it wasn't AM. They see it's a Rutgers team right. they should beat. They come out and Rutgers is really jacked up early and plays hard defensively. 
forces some turnovers, which they do. And it's an ugly close first half, but that's why I'm going to watch in game. I'm, I'm wake on this side. And if wake scores quickly and early and the line gets away, then I just watch the game and we move on and we get ready for this next one. That's how wake I'm going to 10 and three during a regular season, but only six and seven against the spread. I mean, uh, I'd have to go back and look through the whole schedule, but that one makes me a little nervous laying a big number, right? Like, I, I don't know. I mean, this might be the biggest spread they've had maybe in 10 years. Like, they, they haven't been – they're not 14-point, 15-point favorites over anybody. So, well, let me, again – But let me give you this. Here, here's just real quick, and we're spending too much time on this game. I'll okay. just tell you that right now. Yeah. But the last, the last few games for Rutgers, they got beat by 24 – this is working backwards from the end of the season. Okay. 24 by Maryland. Yeah. 28 by Penn State. Yeah. They beat Indiana. Uh, 49 by Wisconsin. Beat Illinois. 14 by Northwestern. 18 by Michigan State. Okay. Almost 40 by Ohio State. So they, they've had some, they've gotten drilled a few times. Blow here. up. Blow up. All right, move on. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, click on another video right here on the screen. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.